Hello, and welcome to another st stream. It is I, Solar Loon. It is 1 a.m. where I am. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, but hey, yeah, it's Solar Loon. Um, I'm going to be a little quiet this time um, because it's so early in the morning. But basically, I read that Twitch, uh, like the best time to stream is like 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Um, so we'll see how that goes. No idea about that, but anyway, I'm Solar Moon. I'm an independent game developer. I'm the creator of Tetra 3D. I'm the creator of Master Plan. Um, I am a uh, dude who makes stuff. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, working on some stuff today. And working on some stuff right now. Let's get some, get some music going and see how it goes. Nah, I need something chill. Hmm. Yeah, give me give me this. Give me this little loop. All right. So, last time we left off, we were working on a uh, normalization of sound, which should be working now. Uh, so we'll be working with this and seeing if we can work with it. Yeah. So I guess we'll be implementing sound, actually. Um, to kind of formalize what, what I did. Um, basically, I added a system to, or to, to outline what I did. I added a system that allows us to tie audio properties by name to an an, uh, analysis done on a, an audio stream. So we can, for example, know how much to raise the volume by uh, to normalize a, a sound, which is very good. This should probably just be... For the volume in a uh, fight. Okay, so this should be a good start. So we should be able to go to our game, um, put our music and audio in there, and then... Uh, yeah, and then get going. Right now, I'm just looking for... Didn't I out... Didn't I export these sounds? I thought I exported them. Here we go. Who's these? Let's pick a song to uh, go with as well. Also, let me let me try tweeting this that I'm on right now. Thank you. 
All right. You can go with this. Cool. Might be cool to make a f uh, script we can call to basically convert a WAV file to an AUG. That would be cool to put in here. So let's do that. Should be able to do it with just uh, like FFmpeg, I think. All right, that works. All right. This feels familiar like I did this before. Let me take a look at something. It feels like if I did it... No, I'm trying to think of where... Okay, let's see. FFmpeg I F. Okay. C A B three. Uh yeah, no, I don't want this. Lipovorpus. Oh, I see replace. I'm guessing this replaces the wave for log. This would be better. C bash C F F back I zero. I don't need this. This might be better. We can try this. Oh wait, this would be cool if I could tie it into Go, actually. I'm gonna have to come back to that idea. Let me just see if this works first. It did not work, but it did find the, the WAV files and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe this will work because we only really want to run this for BGM. So this is fine for maybe like that. Let's see. That does work. Okay, it would be cool if we could run this whenever we run the game. So we can always be sure that we have the the latest AUG. So we don't have to manually call this. Let's see.
I made the running of tools to generate source code before compilation. I guess we don't really need to do this. We can just like, we could just make a build function that calls this. So we'll do that. Oops. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. So this should be better. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit, make it a little easier to see. All right, so the idea is that we convert BGM to AUG whenever is necessary. Well, I guess we don't want to do that if the file is not has not been changed. So I guess we only want to do this if the WAV file. We only do this if the WAV file's modification date is greater than the AUG files. Cool, okay. LSLC stat tells me, okay, stat, let's see, touch stat. Stat foo, change mod. I got stat foo, stat foo. Okay, so here's our information. We want to basically do this only if the AUG is older than the wave. So uh, uh, batch. Let's see. Oh, cool. So you can just do dash NT or OT for newer than or older than. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we can use test. Okay, cool. So we can do test, test. Else if is Alif. Okay, so if it does exist, then okay, so the idea here. Uh, let's see if we're in, if uh, okay, so it's an or. Got it. Right, okay. All right, so if the file exists, 
then we also want to know if we want to do this only if the file uh Lim echo if it does Hmm. Let me let me do this first to make sure I understand what I'm what I'm doing. Okay. File name. Okay. File name with the extension swapped. Okay. Cool. So if the file does exist, well, we already know the file exists because we're looping through them. So if the wave file, the AUG version exists, <clears throat> then we want to test to see if uh, this. I guess we could set a variable, huh? Maybe. Let's try this. Um, can we do this? Do we set is you can. Okay, so this is the AUG version. Okay, so then we can do Okay, so it doesn't okay. Since if the existing one is older than the newer than the AUG path. Then we want to do this. Okay, so that should do it. Syntax error near unexpected token elif on eight. Hmm, it might not like this. Hmm. Let's see. This feels like it should work. Is there a new token LF? Oh, it does not like this. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 
Uh, it might be. Hold on. I'm unfamiliar with bash statements. Forgive me for. Uh, Oh, and he's in, in. if something then. If some test, then commands if. Okay, well, that definitely seems correct. Okay, so we can do it like this, you're saying. Oh, yeah. So this is just else. My bad. Seventeen. Okay, if uh, then All right, all right, we're 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 getting there. Og path command not found line three. Export. Okay, so we can't just set variables like that. Does it just not like the space? Is that is that really what it is? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So if I don't know it's newer than Skipping converting. Hmm, what is the scene? This is a bash primer, bash primer video.
Oh, I guess maybe it should be like that, actually. Okay. I think maybe that's it. We will try this. So now this mod modification date is 137. This modification date is 120. So when we run this, it should modify this. It should uh, re-export this. Okay, it looks like it did something. Let's check to see if it did what we wanted to do. 137, okay. Excellent. All right, so that's it. Uh, we're good. Now we can just call mod, change mod build to be Did I not do this correctly? Change mod. Oh. Zero six. What's the? Is it seven seven seven? Oh, I guess you just say plus eight. It's, there we go. Cool. Excellent. All right, that's what we wanted. So now we can know that our BGM and SFX are going to be converted. Uh, we can remove the waves later. We can do that either in the conversion function or some other time. It, it doesn't really need to be done in, at any specific time. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get the music and, and sound in the game. So let's give that a shot. See, I guess we can do it like this. We can go here. Go to a level. And we can specify here the BGM. Then when we go to level.go, we can close the others. Uh, we can basically look for <laughs> it took me so long to find this. All right, um, we can go in here. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna need both of these. So, firstly, we can say level dot scene dot properties has BGM. And then here's where we're gonna want to play the the background music. Um, in order to get this to work, we need to make it so that you can you can load sounds, which doesn't currently work. Um, so we'll add that at loader here. Thank you. 
Data is byte is a byte slice. So there's going to be two kinds of things here. Um, I guess we'll, we'll make a, an audio type uh, where it'll have the byte slice as well as the ability to turn it into players uh, for us to play back audio streams. So this will be an audio dot go. Uh, audio stream. So we got that and then we'll have the ability to turn it into other things as well. Something like this. Um, let's get some. Let's get some music back going. This is gonna take a little bit. Okay, so this is a good start. So BGM chase dot org. Okay. And BG, so it's assets, then BGM, then chase.org. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and say, uh, uh, resources get path as, oh, we have to add that, those hooking functions. So we're going to have a create layer function like that. There we go. Okay. And if this is nil, it's not an audio stream. Understood. Let's see. Okay. 
Did I just... Oh, I just did wave. Really, it doesn't matter if it's a... Uh... Doesn't matter if it's a wave or not, it's the same. Uh, let's see. Okay, something a little further in this time. Let's see. Does the data exist? Okay, it does exist. I think the issue is that we don't have the context, so we'll need to create that. I think we only need to do that once. Um, so we will do it in main. We'll do it in here, I think would be a good place. Let's see. Oh, we can't just do this. We have to decode the, the data first. Okay. All right, we'll just do this like this for now. So then we say string that is odd. So we can decode if we have a reader with the context. I think it's without resembling. Okay, so we'll need uh, to set the sample rate here. We'll do it in here. So now we have the we have to make a reader. So I think that should be I, mean, I guess we could do it like that, but we could also just can't we do it don't we you normally do it in here that we create a reader? Don't we already have a reader? No, maybe not. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Okay, so we do it like that, and then we say otherwise.
Oh, whoops. I can just return the player directly. Means we don't need this. So audio player. Yeah, no, we can't. We can't say that. We can say resound dot. That might work. Let's see. This won't work. Resound doesn't exist. There we go. Uh, resound. I audio stream. Read secret doesn't. It? Okay, so it. Oh yeah, that's right. But both of these do either work. So I guess it's just there. We go. Okay, so now we can say. So it creates a player. It doesn't create a player, it creates a stream. This is an audio stream source. So now that we have the stream decoded, I'm trying to think, do we need to like, do we need to do anything special when it comes to decoding? Like decoding it creates a, a stream, but the, that's not a player, right? No. Yeah, this is just, it's just a stream. We still need to actually create a player in order to do that. So, I mean, I guess we could say it creates a player by creating a player of the stream. Because I think you can't reuse a stream and a, like a, you, if you use a stream, a player, I think it's, I, mean, I, I don't quite remember. Like if we say, new player, Wait, how did I? Okay, new new player. We can do that. The given source can't be shared with other player objects. Okay, so then we need to decode the stream and then create a new player together. Okay. It's 
So maybe we have an audio stream like this. And then we say create stream. Once we decode it, rather than returning a player, this isn't a player, this is, whoops, this is just the stream. Itself. Can I rename this? Oh, whoops. There we go. All right, that works. Now we say I have new sound. Okay, yeah, we could say if we wanted to loop here. I think we can use a stream for that. Length would be stream dial link. Becomes an audio. Can I use infinite stream as an I audio stream that didn't have a length? Ah. Uh, Doesn't have a length. Yikes. Do we need to know the length of the sound? Maybe we don't need to know the length of the sound. Hmm. Let me think, because we could loop this a different way, maybe. Infinite loop. All right, I think what we'll do, maybe we can make our own loop effect when you that takes a source and basically just it, it loops man uh, manually because then we can always know the length of the there can all there will always be like streams always have lengths because an infinite loop it doesn't have a length because it's infinite but i mean that kind of kills <laughs> a lot of what we're doing let's see if we can do that Is 
Zionic says, hi, what are you working on today? Audio stuff. Excuse me, just audio stuff in general. Hey, let's see. So what I'm hoping for is that this works. <laughs> it works somehow. Let's see. I mean, really, there is no effect. Have to happen. They do. I apply a fight. I'm not sure if I can do this because I'm. I'm thinking the idea is basically that. Maybe just say. That was negative one. Uh, I think the general idea is that basically. I'm not sure if I can do this, but if we read through the sound then we seek the sound back if we're at the end of the of the thing let's tr let's try that i don't know if that will work effectively or not it might be problematic but we'll see okay so the idea is something similar something Basically like this. Um, I guess that means that we don't need to call, need to call it. If there's an error in reading the source. Okay, then maybe we can say, uh, try this. Let's see. We'll just chuck this here for now. Oh, wait, hold on. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. No, wait, no, no. Wait. Uh, do we even 
use this? We use this here, but do we need to use this? Do we need the length? I, I guess we do, but we have the... Don't we have the slice itself? Or no, wait, we're reading. No, it's a stream we're seeking. We seek, we read. Well, I do we even need seek returns? Let's see. See self the next one. Offset equals negative two it specifies the penultimate byte of the file. Turns the new offset relative to the start of the file or an error if any. Okay, so I mean we can you can determine the length by using seek. By just seeking to the last byte. That's the length. That's dope. Okay, so we can just do that. We don't even need this anymore. That means that we we could just use the normal length loop. Okay, so I'll read secret. This would be fine. So length. So just yeah, let's give me the last thing. Okay. I guess what I need to do is seek back. I gotta seek it back in the beginning. Um, I guess we could just do maybe this. Does that work? Nope. So it has to be, can I do this? Cool. So stream does seek. Okay. So now we don't need uh, this week, right? Because we an uh, an infinite loop has a read and a seek. No. Yes. Okay. So then we're good. So we don't need a we don't need the loop anymore. Whoops. So that should work pretty well. Because this was probably gonna be jank. This should work though. Um, new loop, yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. It's just volume. Because now we can work with, if we wanted to loop it, we could do this with stream. We could. Oh, they're all logs. I see. That's how I did this. Okay. Okay, so this should, this should work. So we decode it. If we want to loop it, then we can say stream equals within the loop. We don't have this anymore. It's just IO read seeker. The length is the streams. Wait, where do I get the length of the stream from? Like that, maybe? A new stream sound. Okay, so now we just have IO read seeker.
So now we should be able to How do uh, how does this work? <laughs> you decode the stream, you create a player for it. So we could do this, and I guess it would be not a sound, it would be an audio player. So, like that, right? So we create a decoder. All right, so that should work, I think. Cool. Uh, say we want to loop it. Definitively incorrect. If we're looping it, then we want to get the let's see, length of the unread portion of the slice. I guess it's the size. Maybe that's what we want. Incorrect. Let's see, infinite loop. Uh, the total of the same is the may your noise around the new points. Hmm. This is weird. I feel like I don't remember this being a thing. Okay, let's see. Stream dot. I mean, I guess I could just do a seek to get the length of it, but I feel like I shouldn't have to, no? Hmm. How did I do it in resound? Brain's not working. Brain's not working. Let's see. Excuse me? <laughs> what? Uh, oh. Okay. Here we go, okay. That's better, okay. All right, that's a little better. We, we can make this even better. Uh, 
at a later date. <laughs> we can make this better another time. Okay. Excellent. So what we want to do now is when the level gets destroyed, we want to uh, track. The current BGM sound uh, player and we want to stop it naturally and close it. So we can do that by going to main.go. We want to keep track of it and then we want to basically say uh, there we go do something like this and then well, I guess we don't have to keep track of it there we can keep track of it in the in the level itself. Like that, and then we can go down here. Then when it's time to be destroyed, we just say pause and close. And let's see, reset. Cool, cool. <clears throat> nice. All right. All right, cool. So now what we want to do is we're going to get more audio in there. Um, what would be cool is if we could Actually, I'm looking at this code now, and I'm like, you seek it to the end, then you seek back, then you seek forward. Feels like it would be better to simply seek to the end, and then seek back to the beginning. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's see, jump. Uh, then, okay, that's fine. So then we want to seek and negative seek jump. So it's like you go to the end, that tells you the length, then you go bop, bop, or bop, 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 or bop. And then we don't need to seek it at the beginning anymore. That's even better than anticipated. Crunched. Let's see, does this work?
uh, what is going on? No, that should work. Uh, this is odd. So let's see, this can count, this can count, there, there, string read. Oh, I see. That's why, okay. Because it reads in only moving forward, so we would have to at least jump back by the length of the byte slice. Audio is always a pain. I work with FMPEG, FFMPEG using C sharp once. Now you put in the times you were, time you were working with the white noise. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate, actually. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty correct. Let's see. So, I mean, this, I guess it, this, because like we jumped to the end to get the length, but then we would have to jump back by the length of the byte slice, which is 512 bytes. Then we have to jump back. So we were one seek, two seeks, versus one seek, two seeks. Like, before we would jump to the end, then jump back to the beginning, then jump forward as many times as necessary to read the, the audio. Now we're going to the end, so, that's, so one seek, then we'd have to jump back again, either to the beginning or 5512, and then we're reading the same amount. So it's, it's the same either way. This can stay though. I feel like there there might be a way to, to get around these seeks to make them not as uh not as many, but that's fine. Cool. So now what we want to do is we want to try to um have some fun with audio, um, but we'll we'll commit these changes first. Okay. All right. So now, whoops. Now this is where it gets a little weird.
because what we want to do is we want to also normalize this audio. So we can do this by This is weird. I think this is tripping. Let me see. Missing him. Oh, there we go. All right, so ABP sound. Is that not it? Oh, what are you doing, dude? Oh, wait, didn't I? Oh, we didn't use resound. That's right. Okay. All right. So then what we want to do, we probably want to put this in game. Actually, it probably would be best in the res. No, I guess this is fine. It's just not the pointer version. Okay. So what we want to do then is we want to be able to do something like this. So we want to get the name of the no 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 file back. Yes, that means that we don't need is aug because that can be determined by the file path. Okay, so then we can go back over here. So then we have the file path. Right. That won't work, will it? Scan count sixteen. Um, this won't work. We have a byte slice. We don't need a byte slice. We need a stream. So we actually need. That guy. Let's say normalization. There we go. Whoops. Cool. 
So now the upside of this is even if we make this dumb quiet, like I, like I am right now, <laughs> have I been getting quieter and quieter throughout the entire stream? I think I have been. Um, my energy levels are, are low, but at the same time, I'm also just kind of like being quiet on purpose slash by accident. So we're going to try making this really quiet just to ensure that it's actually working. What's, what's my volume level like? My volume level, I am very quiet. Okay. I guess I have to <laughs> sit up straight. <laughs> this is interesting, dude. This is interesting. Okay. So we'll, we'll try exporting this as an AUG. Um, we'll say change quiet. That's fine. Let's see. So now what this should mean is that this should work. It should be the same volume. Beautiful. That means that we have integrated resound into our audio. It means that we have uh, done gotten normalization to work automatically. Um, so yeah, we're good. We're good. So we can oops, get rid of the new one, rename the old one, and we can start getting some other stuff in here. Um, let's see what sounds do we have. Okay. A little footsteps, so let's see if we can do something with that. We will go to the player. All right, let's see. Player dot is he dot uh, on frame change. I think it's on frame change. Current frame, there's no current frame return to the current frame for the Oh, I see the current frame. Frame and Okay. All right, here's what we'll do, because I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> what I want to know is, are you on the first frame of all of these animations? I don't want to check to see if the frame is two or seven or 12. I just want to know, are you on frame zero? Um, let's add that function, I guess. Let's take, let's take a look to see, whoops. Take a look to see how, exactly how this uh, works. <clears throat> all right so frame index is the current frame of the files animation tag playback all right let's see frame x y duration it's nice okay so frame index. So frame 
index, sets the currently visible frame to frame index. I'm using the playing animation as a range. Okay, so. Okay. All right, let's go with that. Okay, cool, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, cool, this works. Indeed. All right, that was creepy. <laughs> I didn't say that, I just said, okay, that works. It heard, it heard okay, and then followed that up with Google. I did not say Google. All right, we're good. Um, for frame index and animation is equal to zero. Then we can say, Set frame index. There we go. Was it always that loud? Was it, was it always that loud and I just wasn't paying attention? Let me see here. Hold on. Why did I do this? Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, I think it's kind of working, but it's hard to hear. Let's do some things here. Um, for now, let's turn off the BGM. Oops. Okay, um... Okay. 
Okay, that works. Uh, really, I mean, this could be done with just like this. But it's not very easy to duplicate these tags. And then we can go back over here and we can just say Ow. Okay, yeah, so we can we can just do this and say Yeah, we can do like this. Let's make it a little nicer. Cool. Okay, so now what we want to do, um, it'd be cool if we could make it quieter. How can we do that? Let's do it like this. And just say like this can embed it like that. So then you want to be able to say play. Oh wait, doesn't uh player not doesn't implement read uh, that's a, that's a lie, it totally does, isn't it? 
Oh, no, I guess it doesn't. No, shouldn't it? Shouldn't a player implement read? I guess it doesn't. No? Okay. I'm trying to figure out, a, figure, out a, ugh, figure out exactly how this works. Exactly how I want this to work. Because I we want to have every audio stream have some common effects like volume. So instead of playing, returning this, it can return this. Uh, so I mean, I guess we could do it like... Like, we want to be able to, like, easily tweak it, though. Create player should return an audio player. And then we could call play, but then how do we tie this in? How did I do this with this previously? Create these things, then we create the player last. In the DSP. Involving set string, and then we create a player out of that. Um, I'm tired. Let's see. Oh, can't I just say... Yeah, I could just do it like this, I see. There we go. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So now we can easily adjust the volume and stuff like that. So when we go here, we can say player dot. Then we have the volume we can modify that will affect our sound. So we can say, for example, set strength and say we want it to be quiet. Perfect, perfect. 
Now we can copy this to the enemy. Oh, he doesn't have the... <clears throat> he doesn't have the tags. He ain't got the tags, dude. He ain't got the tags. Uh, where is... There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Just blow, blowing out the speakers. All right, uh, so we want to do the same thing over here when he hits the wall. Okay, and then the footstep can be maybe like quarter volume. Because the... I think the audio is uh normalized. Yeah, it's normalized, okay. loud let me turn off normalization here okay so it's the same volume it's just dumb loud okay so then let's make these Maybe half volume. And the bump can be full volume. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. All right, I would say I managed to get a pretty good amount of done. Oh, we have the music going. Let's see. Oh, it's now no longer an audio player. It's now an audio player. Here we go. Okay, cool. So next thing I'll do is make DSP channels for the background music and sound. So we can, for example, turn down the BGM or turn down all of the sounds together, that kind of stuff. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Um,
yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but it's been real it's almost 3 a.m i'm going to go to bed <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon. I'll catch you guys on the flip side next time. If you want to support development, please check out my links and the links in my description uh, for this video. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side later. Um, yeah, check out my YouTube for these archived. Check out uh, Patreon. Check out my, my itch page uh, for master plan, which is a, uh, project planning software. I've been working on things like that. I'll catch you guys later. And, uh, thank you very much for watching.